Hey guys, great to see you again. Joe here and welcome to another lesson and thanks very much indeed for joining me for this one. So there you heard my rendition of a song from the Eric Clapton Unplugged album called Alberta. And many blues artists have covered the song including Lead Belly and it's a song I have actually already covered but it was many years ago and I'd just like to update the version that I've done. As you can hear from this current arrangement that I've put together, there are several guitars on there and there's quite a lot of different kind of elements going on. So let me zoom on in and start breaking it down and showing you what's happening. Okay, so let's get started with this one. Now the song starts with a walk up and it sounds like this. <laughs> So that's the first thing we want to get down right and the way we play that is just by playing the sixth string open twice then we play that first fret of the sixth string twice again then we play the second fret just the one time sixth string again and then we play an open fifth string and then we play a C chord Right, so if you put that together, you should have Right, and that is the opening And you should also be aware of the fact that that is played every time you start a new verse Over the words Alberta, Alberta, okay? Because there are a couple of other runs that we're going to take a look at And they are different to that one Okay, so now we've got Now we play a walk down which goes Okay, and that's just the 5th string 3rd fret 2nd fret Open 5th Which takes us into a G 6th string 3rd fret So we have and then we just play it the other way around which is just the 3rd fret, 6th string open 5th 2nd fret, 5th string and 3rd fret, 5th string so now we have Then it repeats those licks and goes 
okay so it just does the same thing again the reverse one going down which lands us in a C and then we play a C7 okay and the chords are there for you if you're not too sure of what they are and then we go into an F chord back to a C with the walk down and then we go to a G and then to a C and then at the end of every verse we have this little figure Okay, now all we're doing is we're playing a C chord, an F chord, F minor. So when we play this F shape here, to play an F minor, we're just taking off that middle finger there. And then we finish with a C. And that is the end of a verse, which means we're going to start a new verse which is the walk-in that we looked at at the very beginning. Okay, so effectively what we've done there is we've looked at one verse, and once you know one verse, then you're able to play the whole song. Yeah, it's really as straightforward as that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play it really, really slowly, so you can begin to hear where all those little walk-ups and walk-downs fit, all right? So I'll take this really slowly to give you a chance to kind of hear what's going on, which is equally as important as seeing what's going on. Try and hear it as well. It'll really help you, okay? So we start out with the intro. Okay, so that's one verse all the way around. So once you can actually play that verse like that, and you can play with the runs where they should be, the walk ups and the walk downs, and the intro walk in for each beginning of each verse, then really all you've got to do is just repeat that right the way out throughout the song. And then the only other thing you really need to know is how the song ends. And so when we come to the end section of a verse, this section where we have the C. Okay, so there are, or we can play. So it's entirely up to you. Like I say, it's important to try and make it your own. Now, so really effectively what I'm doing there is I'm taking this C7 shape, right? and I'm moving it up to make a C sharp seven, playing the C sharp seven and then a C seven. Alternatively, like I say, you can play a B seven and then go into the C seven. So it's entirely up to you how you end it. I think on the record, Eric Clapton plays a B seven into a C seven. I often play it the other way around like so personal choice it's entirely up to you okay so that covers all the rhythm aspect of the song okay so now let's take a quick look at just some basic right hand ideas okay if you're finding all this kind of too difficult you don't have to play those you can just strum the chords okay in which case you would just have C G, C, 
sei, J, C, C7, F. And you can see it's a very, very basic up and down strum. And C, and G, and C. To G. C, F, F minor, and C, and around we go again, okay, so that's how it would be played without any of the runs in for people who are just starting out and things, and essentially, just play what's in your heart when it comes to strumming, I don't believe in this up, down, down, up business, it's very important to play what's in your heart and your soul and try and impart something of yourself on it. Now, you may find it a little bit difficult to start with, but it will really pay you off in the long term. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. You can just... Just started out basic so you get a kind of nice feel. And just feel the freedom to do whatever you feel. Okay, and the only bit where you may need something a little bit more concrete than that is the little ending section of those verses where it goes. Because you want to try and create that feel, okay? So you've got very much slowed down now. So I hope that you found that helpful, guys. You should be in a position now to be able to practice all those individual elements and then bolt them all together and be able to play the song from the beginning to the end. And it's just important for you to try and enjoy the journey and not get too frustrated and just try and make it your own in some sense. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly like I played it or like Eric Clapton played it. You know, how you play it is just as important. And for anybody who's interested in the solo and the backing track and tabs and stuff, I have done all of that and it's over on my Patreon page and there's a link down below to that if you're interested in that type of thing. But in the meantime, you take care. I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you soon with another lesson. In the meantime, take care.